IBF featherweight world title on the line if we find the winner. The fighters, if they needed an introduction, Kid Galahad trimmed with black Dickens, black trimmed with gold and the red gloves. Galahad immediately stepping on the toe of Dickens. IBF rehydration cause in effect to cause him of those pounds. And we know he was tight, you could see it, there was no hiding it. And when Dickens looked in his eyes, he... It's real, it must be for them to meet of their profession. Galahad trying to walk Dickens down, shovels the right hand into the body, just draws to a close. Give it some time for the work to, to settle on here, but he's walked into a southpaw left hand there from Galahad, again shovels off the back of it. Dickens, Dickens responds well though. So much variety and just what he offers to use, he's using an overriding jab now, he's j jabbing over the lead hand. It's been quite effective, it's just stopping Dickens in his tracks. From Dickens. Between the two of them was that Galahad shouting a lot more. He is, and he's not having time to think, just was Galahad just throwing that simple jab constantly. Flip over the top there from Dickens. It's a full short that time, and Galahad. Again, Galahad back a century, back on the jab, and leading the dance at this stage. Dickens is going to have to dig in. Work his way back into this contest, trying to jab with him now. Christian under the pressure of knowing that this could be his last chance of fighting for a world title. But the jab, the jab is suffering them. Trying to step around him and find angles, but Galahad just turns with it. And again, orthodox for Galahad. The war of the front foot recommences. It's almost doubled Dickens' punch output. The clock ticks away. Dickens just can't get no consistency going. And now Derry Matthews is spotting the, the treading on the front foot. When there's a southpaw fighting an orthodox fighter, there's always going to be some sort of second on the feet, but... 113 punches in that last round. He's starting to just turn the screw. Again, just those the face of the scouts are just getting busted up here, blood pouring from the nose, swellings under the eyes. It's getting really tough this for Jazza. Dickens trying to bob and weave and pain now etched on his face. It's a bloody left hand counter over the top, but he just can't put a dent in Galahad, he just walks full, letting the hands go. Come on. Makes life difficult. Death by a thousand knives, absolutely. Right in deep here. Again, just sticks that left to the body, shovels the uppercut through the middle. Get his attention, no matter what he tries, Galahad, double jab. It's a good combination from the two. Top guy had his chin up in the air for once. Seven men underneath two. Just a glimmer of hope and just perhaps something to draw comfort. Galahad just switched off for a moment and reminded that. Galahad's jab, simple one two for me. It's the consistency of that, sticking with the basics. Not abandoning the jab. High output, so many short little shots on the inside that you don't really see and they're innocuous but they build and they accumulate tenderized over these last eight rounds and they win you rounds talk about the kind of fight that could break a fighter's heart and i think he made the richie one here all in the game that he is really really up against it now i'm going to but it's just one step ahead one step behind all the time I said earlier, and none of them are hard footing shots. He's got his shape back, Dickens. Good left hand. Is this a second wind? Got like him straight back with his other hand, and another there. And just check the jaw. Dickens, he tries to turn and exit, but that's brilliant. Yes, there's been some coming together with the feet and the head clash, but.
no doubt we'll hear from him afterwards. Galahad again to the body. Dickens responds, left the upstairs, but just not a reaction. Nothing to take confidence from. And he's given him no rest, no rest by the all. Ring and you know as a trainer, Andy, how much you can ask of your fighter. He's got opportunity at the big time. Galahad steps in again. Puts it. But Galahad is that even though he's dominating this fight so much, he's not throwing any big hard shots where the referee might have a chance to step in or the corner might do, do, do step in. Just a relentless forward march as we close out this 11th round. This is hard to watch now. We've loved commentating on some of the fights tonight. They've been great fun and entertaining. This has been more and more difficult as the state of that as well. Not even the great Kerry Kays can do anything about the cool time on this contest. Overcomes Michael Alexander, Kerry Kays nods, and it is all over. A moment to celebrate for young kid Galahad, who finally becomes champion of the world. The late great Brendan Ingle would have been proud of this young man. Your winner by RSC and the new IBF featherweight champion of the world from Sheffield, England.